Hi guys, Fabian from Auto Talk here. We've got a R34 GTR in at the moment. Um, it's in for underbody restoration. Right, as you can see, it's a very clean example. Um, everything on it is, as I know, that how it came into the country. Uh, it's got the Nismo wheels, which are very nice and in great condition. Um, the stunning black bodywork on it is actually really nice. Unfortunately, we've picked a really bad day for it. So you can't see it's great detail. Um, and the mileage on this is only 62,000 miles, which is relatively low for one of these cars. This is gonna be a usable, drivable vehicle for the customer. Um, he wants to be able to use this all year round. So it is not gonna be a perfect car, but that is the way we like it. These R34s, they come with a very famous RB26 engine, which everybody in the Jap area knows that these are very, very reliable engines. Uh, these come with a twin turbo, six cylinder engine. Um, you get a huge amount of power out of them. Uh, they're really great for tuners. People put these engines in everything. We're gonna be overhauling the rear end of the vehicle uh, with very nice parts from the likes of Driftworks, Super Pro and ourselves. So people get restorations on these old Japanese cars on the main feature that in Japan, they did not have underseal from factory. So as they've been driven over time, they tend to corrode underneath quite extensively. So when they come over to the UK, they're very nice and clean, but they're used on the UK roads, which we all know aren't very nice, and they get absolutely caked with mud, salt, and water all the time. So people need these underbody restorations just to get them back and up to scratch. Right, we're now ready to get this in the workshop, up on the ramp. just a few of the bits which we have here which have been already refurbed so all of the items which are black have been stripped back and powder coated the silver items have been uh, sandblasted and then uh, media blasted the rear diff itself has been rebuilt internally and all new zinc bolts we have a lovely selection here of Driftworks items. So we have high cast elite, rear adjustable tow arms, uh, rear camber arms. We also have a large amount of super pro rear bushes to go in. Basically every bush is getting replaced on this. So everything's gonna be nice and tight. That's including subframe bushes. Um, and also we're gonna go ahead and put some EBC pads in as well. The discs on these are pretty much brand new. So we'll be fine with that. Um, and yeah, we've got some fresh zinc coated bolts here. All of these have been uh, acid dipped and then zinc coated. So these will then be perfectly fine to go back on the car now uh, and last many more years. Right, as you can see, there's no more parts on the floor. Uh, they are all now fitted back in. Uh, we have a few more little bits to do, um, but so far as you can see, all the powder coated arms are on, all the Driftworks arms are on. Every bush is now uh, Super Pro. Uh, it's got all its uh, Super Pro subframe bushes, diffs back in, it's all been nicely rebuilt. Um, Anti-roll bars all powder coated, all braces on. So literally, I've got to put oil in it. Um, new held braided brake lines and away she goes. So guys, we've now finished this car. All it needs is the exhaust bolting on and the under tray fitting. Um, so just to sum it all up, we've fitted Driftworks high cast elite. We've fitted Driftworks uh, rear camber arms. It's had new IBAC springs on its Olin shocks. We've had super pro bushes throughout on every single bush possible we could buy. Um, and everything's been powder coated and all the nuts and bolts have been re-zinc coated. So it is now fully protected and okay to go back on the UK roads. So also this has had a factory rebuilt limited slip differential um, put back in it. This has all been rebuilt in-house. So this is something else that other owners might like to think about. Um, all of these bushes on this will actually just help the, help the road stability of the car. This is not necessarily going to go around a track. Um, 
the owner just wanted to make sure that it was going to be able to handle anything he gave it at any point while driving. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked what you saw, give us a thumbs up below. And if you want some more content, drop some comments below and we can uh, do that for you.